ladies and gents, my name is Xander, aka Deicide, and in this video, we're going to discuss one thing and one thing alone, and that's shotgun testing. You might be asking yourselves, alright, so what is this exactly going to entail? That right there, Dia Slayers, is the million dollar question, and it's going to be including everything from Rifle Barrel to Full Choke, the Dust Rock Blues, the Balagant, the Toil and Trouble, and the Mind Mender's Ambition. Not just that, but we're also going to analyze and figure out as to exactly how much of a range nerf that all these shotguns got. And that, my friends, is going to be the biggest overall question that's really going to dictate as to whether or not SMGs are going to be vital, if sidearms might make a resurgence, and as far as fusion rifles go, they also might make a little bit of a peak. So who knows? We're going to find out, and I can't wait to see exactly what's going to happen. However, we're going to do something with a little bit of a fun twist, and instead of doing the typical video, we're actually going to a private match this very second and doing this live. So as we're figuring out all this brand new information, I'm bringing it to you as we discover it ourselves, and so I think it's going to be quite interesting to see exactly what's going to happen, what kind of new meta is going to appear, and so the only thing left to do, my friends, is to eviscerate that notification button, and let's jump right into the video. Okay, so, give me a second here. I'm going to show this to see that this I'm using right now is full choke, okay? So full choke with absolutely no types of range perks. Alright, so at 6 meters, I'm going to go 7 meters just in case, and boom, okay. Alright, so 7 meters, okay. no problem, full choke can get you. Alright, so Sam, go ahead and stand in the, in the center next. Yep. Okay. Perfect. A little more to the left. A little left, left. Um, my, my left, sorry, so you, yep. Right there. Good. Is this okay? Uh huh. That's eight meters. Okay. Ah, so it can't do it at, at eight meters. Okay, so it can only do that much. Raffled. All right, just to do for the completeness sake, I'm gonna do this exact same thing on seven meters. Again with Sam. Seven meters and boom. Okay. Okay, so seven meters for sure. It can kill no problem whatsoever. Okay, and that's with full choke. So let me go back down to eight meters now. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay, yeah, so it's okay. Oh, so it's definitely it's definitely confirmed with that. So obviously full choke is the maximum that I can do is seven meters. Um, let's go try rifle barrel now. We'll test this again. Perfect. So we'll go with the seven meters this time. Back a little bit and boom. Okay. All right, seven meters, no problem whatsoever. Um, we'll test this then again on the eight meters. Okay. Perfect. Right there. That's great. Excellent. Okay. Ah, so yeah. we can kill at eight meters. Okay, okay. We're gonna test nine meters now. You're in first place. Okay, perfect. And right there, excellent. Okay, so it can't quite mm -hmm. do it. So let me do it again, just one more time. Try to precision if you can. Okay, and yeah. <laughs> so it's consistent that I can't do it at that range. Um, let me try one more time back at eight meters again to find out if which one's the best. Okay, perfect, Sam. Excellent. And yeah. Okay, so rifle barrel confirmed. 110 percent has more range for sure. Hmm, interesting. Now. What about small bore? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try and test next then. So, oh, I did want to test this one though too. I want to test the mind benders, the the curated one, and just see how well that it could do too. Okay, because this curated mind benders has um. The rifle barrel as well, and so it'll be very, very interesting to see as to how good that it can do. And eight meters, perfect. Yeah, no problem. Oh, there's no way, man. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna go nine meters. Right there, perfect. Yeah. Okay, so even mm. then, I can't do that much. But on that initial, I wanted to see and test opening shot to see as to how much actual range that it was going to give if you happen to do better with that, you know. Um, opening shot gives you a, like a meter, I think, right? No, I just have I, you tested a slide shot? Like I just tested that. Um, here, we'll do it again, one more time. Go back towards this uh, eight meter range again. Yeah, perfect, Sam. Thank you. So to be expected. Okay, so nine meters. Okay, so someone pull. Some so yeah, someone go there in center. Excellent. And no, they can't do it. Ooh. So, that is the cutoff, and he had yeah. significant right. health left to do this. Okay, now I want to test this uh, Balagant and Toil and Trouble, alright? I really want to see as to how powerful that these things can be. Um, this Toil and Trouble though, it's got uh, 
small bore. So I wanted to test out small bore here because we obviously know what full choke can do. So put on XM magazine with no range perks again. And let me kill you. Oh, I got melee. What? Hmm. What the hell? Stop farming me, Xander. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you chose. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. I thought that was Sam. I'm out. Ah, 80, you showed. Alright, so the range at one meter is really good. Oh, did you pick that up? You picked that up? No, I didn't move. I know, I know, I know. It wasn't intentional. Oh my gosh, you guys are chodes. Okay. So confirmed at one meter. Okay, so remember again, this is at now. Here, we'll, we'll check seven years first. Perfect, okay. And this, just to make sure that we can see this, is going to be the Toil and Trouble with absolutely no types of range perks, and it's going to be only small board testing. Um, okay, so 7 meters, no problem, it can kill you easily. Uh, checking 8 meters, perfect. Can you go to a little bit more towards your left, Sam? A little more? Perfect, right there. Excellent. All right, so eight meters, it can kill no problem with full bore. That's good to know. We'll check nine meters. And nine meters right there. No. So again, oh. full bore can do just as much damage as what rifle barrel can do. That's good to know. Um, oh, small bore. I think, I'm not sure if I have small bore. Or, oh, excuse me, that have, was small bore. I have small that bore. was small okay. bore being tested, excuse me. That was not um, the other one, so. Let me just test this again with the uh, Balagant to see if it's very, very similar or not. Oh, actually, I need oh, some I'm coming, more. I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, sorry. Oh, guys, you keep taking the ammo. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> ah, <laughs> bunch hey, of chokes. He's a ghost. We need to shut him down. Shut down. <laughs> We're farming ghosts and light metals. That's the real reason, huh, Xander? <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so seven meters here. No problem. Pizza cake. Okay, who wants to do 8 meters? Perfect. A little more, yep. Excellent, there you go, AJ, good. Okay, 8 meters, you can still do work, no problem. And then... 9 meters, perfect. Ooh! That did it at 9 meters! Ooh! Small bore is the way. And that was with Balagant. Yeah, Balagant with uh, Small Boar. Yeah! Granted, now I do happen to have a range master work on this, and I was using Anchorized Rounds, so that might be a little bit of a difference there. And so let me go ahead and change this round real quick. Let me put on Tactical Mag instead of Anchorized Rounds, and do this exact same thing in this exact same spot, and then that way we can test. So can someone stand in front of, again, please? Excellent. And... Ah, so that's the difference right there. Okay, Ooh, that's, that's very, very good to know. Accurized rounds seven. then is definitely going to make the 9 meter range easy, no problem whatsoever. And then if you add in an additional type of range master work for this thing, then that thing's going to be able to hit even longer. So you know what, let me just go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to master work this battle again because I have enough cores. So let me go do this. We'll find out as to exactly how much overall range that I can do. And done. Okay, so this is master work now. I'm gonna, I, I still have enough shots, so thank God for that. Um, so I'm doing this exact same thing again, 80 at 9 meters, I haven't moved, and, okay, perfect, so no problem, now let me go to 10 meters, okay, just hit 10 meters, I doubt this is going to work, but you never know, almost, nope. almost, but almost. not quite, so that's good to know, so the maximum that you can do with having on that kind of stuff is going to be 10, or 9 meters, excuse me, um, what else? Oh, now I want to test this parcel of Stardust, that's right. Because this thing has um, full auto, and it also has rifle barrel along with full choke. And even though it has a couple of range master work things, I still want to make sure as to what it can do in terms of the full auto to see as to how far that it can kill. Okay, so if we test out, we'll go 8 meters, just right here. Perfect, okay. Okay, so mm -hmm. even doing one shot, that's fine, no problem. We'll do this again, 80 at 9 meters. Okay. Ooh, that's almost oh, the definition. Almost. Yeah. So let me go ahead, actually, I'm going to change this real fast because I... I have one resilience, though, don't forget that. Okay, so I got... Uh, that's very, very good to know, actually. I've got a light mag on this. That's going to increase the range ever so slightly. And I feel like at this exact same point, it'll be able to hit you. 
No, look at that. That's a big, big difference in terms of how much range that I was able to do with damage output. That's crazy. Okay, hold on. There we go. Again, even with that. That's that's just amazing. That just proves the point, though, that, that these shotguns are so unbelievably inconsistent. Because I just bumped up the range mm -hmm. ever so slightly, and with full choke, it wasn't making that big of a difference. Um, okay, so let me try this now with full auto and full choke at this, uh, this uh, 9 meter range, or excuse me, 10 meter range. Okay, so still that was able to do it, no problem, as expected. Okay, um... Do it again. Just one, one more test. Here we go. Okay, so that that's actually... I mean, full auto's gonna get you. Yeah, no matter what, full auto's definitely gonna get you at 10 meters. Um, let me go ahead and, and change this one more time. I wanna change it back to the uh, rifle barrel, because we know that that's gonna be a little bit better. So, let's go see if we can do this again at, say, 10 meters. Okay, so again, it can get you. Give me this. And let me try one more time then at the 11 meter mark. Just to see how far I can do. And here we go. Okay, so doubled like that, it can definitely do it. Um, let's check 12 meters. I would sear the cabal with my burning light, challenge the fallen Okay, here we go. I don't think he'll take off his shield even. Yep. No. So that's definitely the maximum range with full auto, is the 11 meter mark. They trapped me at 12 with one resilient. Let me check this out right now, full auto. No. Almost. Even with nope. that, so not quite. Almost. That's very, very good. And you know what, and just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna look at both of your guys' um, witch McCall here. I wanna look at your resiliences, um, Sam and AJ. Which, uh, mm -hmm. Sam, you've been running seven resilience. Okay, that's good to know. Yep. And then AJ, you've been running what? You've been running three. And, and okay, cool. And then a has been running one. So that's actually a pretty good um, range of overall mm -hmm. resilience. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so then we can test this stuff. Um, okay, was there anything else I wanted to test? Yes, I just want to test the, the chaperone one more time real fast, just to make sure that these things did not get touched, because I, um, I have a feeling that they shouldn't. But remember how Bungie did happen to say that all of them were, were going to get nerfed? Um, yeah, perfect. Just stand next to him so that we can see that. Perfect. That's, that, that's great. Um, so this one should hit you. Yep. Go back a little further. 16. Oh, man. Yeah, so 16. Should be at 16. So 16, it can still do that. Um, yeah, Sam, can can you stand right there again in front of it? Got two one more second here. 17. No, not quite. So yes, so 14 and 16 is the max in the chaperone. So that hasn't changed. That's good to know. Um, then what did you suggest? Uh, you suggested that I change rapid fires. Rapid fire frame. Which ones are those? Uh. Um, you have Perfect Paradox, and that's a good, solid rapid fire one. Wishbringer? I don't think I have any of those right now. I have to go to my vault. Um, do any of you guys have that right now? Uh... What? What? I have threat level, I kilos. Perfect, perfect. I have just try the, uh... Um... Wishbringer, Wishbringer, just try Wishbringer. Yeah, just try that. I have it. Perfect, perfect. I'll stand in front then, okay? And then you test to see as to what kind of range that, that you're actually at. Where you want me to start at? Um, start at around seven meters, then go from there. But before you kill me, hold on. Let me let me just inspect you, so then I can actually see what you're using for perks. Okay. Okay. So uh, why don't you try and test it without the accurized rounds on there? See what else you have. So do rifle barrel first like that, and see as to what it can do, and then we'll change uh, the um, uh, accurized rounds in a second. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Are you aiming for my body? Or like 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 my chest slash torso? Yeah. Okay. Do it again then. You want me to do it again? Yeah. Wow, it's like well, nothing. These are not the way to go. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Do it again with accurized rounds this time and see if that makes a difference. And yes, you do have accurized rounds on now. Perfect. Okay. Go for it. Wow! Well, that took out the shields. Yeah, but still, that's like nothing. Cause you're at seven meters, right? No. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, those are definitely not the way to go. Those things are the definition of muff cabbage. Holy cow, that's really bad. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna test here is we're definitely gonna test this uh, dust rock blues, and just so that people can see what I've got in this dust rock. Um, this is the one that I usually use on a fairly consistent basis, 
as it's got all these perks. And just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna bring this out so that it's got no type of range benefit except from the masterwork. And that way we, we can really see what it's got. Um, so at what? Point blank range. Seven meters, eight meters. Okay, here we go, eight meters. You know what, let's test seven meters first. Seven, this should easily get you though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Yep. So eight meters next. Excellent. Perfect, Sam, thank you. What? Oh, no way. Just that makes a difference. A yeah. Let me test it one more time. Do one more Try shot. Try again, yeah. Yeah. And then I'll do it again with the um, extra. There we go. So it did get oh. it. Okay. See, that, yeah. that just That's just consistency. Me. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let's try nine meters. And there we go. Excellent. Thank you, kind sir. No. Okay. So let me bump this up to the other one. And we're going to test this out to be at light mag. And this one has what, one more shot with it, so yeah, not quite. Almost though, almost. Looks like that nine meter range okay. is still the maximum. Um, okay, so that was with full chill, keep in mind. Now, I think I have one more that has rifled barrel, and I do not. But that still shouldn't matter, because I just want to... Okay, put that one on then, and you can test it on me, and do it at uh, that range then, okay? Right, so you want to know rifle should... barrel? Is that a what about slide shot? Yeah, slide shot. I'll test that later. But as of right now, I just, um, I just want to see like without any kind of perks, benefits, or anything like that, right? As all the tests that I've been doing so far is pretty much with, um, you know, minimum to zero, uh, which we call it, um, range benefits on, on on any of the weapons. Okay. All right. So how many meters? So do seven meters first, and then do. Uh, eight meters next, and then ten meters, or, and then nine meters after that. For for rifle barrel? Yeah, rifle barrel. Mm -hmm. This isn't the best rolled one. That's okay. You said perks didn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, take off uh, accurized rounds, actually. Okay, perfect. Definitely use that then. Try and kill me at seven. Really? That's so surprising. That's at seven meters, and with rifle barrel, you should be able to kill me with that. Does anyone else have one? The rifle barrel? Okay, so Sam, you try and do one then on me, okay? Let me inspect you so then people can see real fast. And then start at 7 meters and then we'll go from there, okay? Good. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Ready? Yeah, even though light mag is a little bit of a benefit. Yeah, okay, go, go. Wow! Ha. Only five minutes left. Okay, do it again once my health comes up. No, it still can't do it, even with that kind of inconsistency. Wow. Yeah, the first one I shot at your head, the second one at your torso. Okay, that's, uh, do one more than at my torso again, Sam. Okay, so there we okay, go, so it can do it. Different shotguns? Okay. Yeah, so it can do it at 7 meters. Uh, try the 8 meter range then, Sam, and see if that makes a little bit of a difference as well. That was pretty inconsistent. Though. I know, I agree. It was very, very inconsistent. Maybe it's one shot. Uh, you said uh, seven, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Do uh, do eight meters this time. Eight. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and here we are. Yes. Okay. Good. Go for it. Still. No. My turn. Okay. I think uh, I think it's kind of confirmed then in this respect too that the. Um, just Rot Blue is, wasn't able to significantly one-shot you then from 8 meters on a consistent basis. Pretty much after all this testing that we've done so far, we've confirmed number one, that full choke is not as good as rifled barrel. Number two, small bore can be just as good as rifled barrel. And number three, the Dust Rod Blues can't quite as consistently shoot on a one-shot basis as something like the Balagant or even a Toil in Trouble or even that of a, um, oh, what else was I looking at here? Or, or that of the Mind Mitter's Ambition, because that thing also was able to do very, very good at those ranges, no problem. So I have a feeling that the um, you know precision frame type, as well as that of the Wishbringer with the rapid fire, those things are not going to be nearly as good. And what's going to be rising from this is the ones that have the aggressive frames, as well as that of the, um, uh, well, pretty much that's just it, the, the aggressive frame ones. Aggressive frames. Yeah.
Wait, you also tested out a precision frame, wasn't there? That, that um, not precision, but like wet frame. The, yeah, the, the, the precision. Stardust? The precision is the dust rock blues, no and then the uh, yeah. and I also tested. Parcel is uh, lightweight. Yeah, and that's okay. That's the other one too. Then so the parcel can still do decent at that eight to nine meter range, but with the parcel as well at full auto, it can do very very good at eleven meters. So that's pretty good to know too. I think that we're going to see a nice little shift here towards the balagans and the toil and trouble and the my meters ambition frame, which is the aggressive. Ladies and gents. And there you have it, and so with all this brand spanking new information from this Joker's Wild DLC, and in particular, this shotgun testing via the private match, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on whether or not you think that shotguns are still going to be the meta, whether or not we're going to see a Balagant slash a Toil and Trouble shotgun meta, possibly a Mindmeter's Ambition shotgun meta, or maybe it's going to be something entirely different where SMGs, sidearms, and fusion rifles are going to make a resurgence. All I can say for right now is that this season's sure going to shake things up, and only time's going to tell exactly what's going to happen. But you know for a fact that we're all going to be playing PvP, and it's going to be a true wonderful blast. Lastly, be sure to watch the newest, check the latest, and share a comment like on social media, because you are the greatest. That's pretty much all that I've got for you as of right now, DS Slayers. And so as always, GG TNT.